Okay, so there is a guy in 2022 who killed 10 people at a grocery store in Buffalo. And the courts right now, they will read the thing. Whose article is this? I forget. CNN. It says the court has determined the complaint sufficiently pleads viable cause of action to go forward at this stage of litigation. So what they're doing is, in her decision, the judge said the plaintiffs may proceed with their lawsuit, which claims that social media companies like Mega, or it's not Meta, Meta, Alphabet, Reddit, and 4chan, Alphabet is Google and YouTube, profit from racist anti-Semitic and violent material displayed on their platforms to maximize user engagement, including the time that the 18-year-old Peyton Gendron spent on their platforms viewing that material. And so, basically, this judge is saying that these companies can be sued because, or the lawsuit can go through, that they can be sued, because they put this stuff on their platform for profit. Well, I shouldn't say they put it there. They allow it to stay there for profit. Now, here's here's one little tiny sliver of, I don't know, um, whatever. <laughs> this benefit of the doubt, I guess. YouTube and Reddit... Reddit, not so much, more so YouTube, they're not run by people all the time. They're run by computers that look for words and phrases and images and things like that. So, for instance, there is a, a person, um, oh gosh, what is this channel? Anyway. There's a guy, he does like um, reviews on supplements and he talks about supplements and because he does bodybuilding and, and he does a lot of weight gain type of stuff and all that kind of stuff. He talked about a video he had where it was taken down by YouTube because there was nudity in the video. Now they do crack down on that type of stuff, right? But what was the nudity in the video? There wasn't any. But if a human being was sitting there watching that, they, he was sitting down, all you could see was from his, his chest up or torso up. He had a shirt on, so I can't even say that. And that's it. There was nothing on the bottles he was holding up because they're supplement bottles. There, there was no nudity in the video, and yet that's what it got struck for. And so it's run by computers when I go and do my walks and I go into the grocery store there's not a person sitting listening to my video to make sure music plays and then when the music in the grocery store plays my video gets hit with the copyright claim and so boom the computer did it again and so it's one of those it's run by computers it's listened to by computers so that's their only real benefit of the doubt but at the same time When COVID was a big thing, even if the word COVID was not in the title, if it was anywhere in the video, they put a little disclaimer underneath the video saying COVID-19 worldwide, blah, 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 from the Wikipedia. If you can find that, then you can find racist comments. You can find anti-Semitic comments. You can find violent material. There's another guy on YouTube. He likes guns. But his channel is not about guns, it's about something else, but he shows you all, like he's sitting at a desk and he's got guns under his desk, and like he's fascinated with them, I guess. So his videos are not monetized because there's too many firearms in it. Meanwhile, he's not shooting anything. So they can find it, they just, for whatever reason, don't. And then, well, anyway. So my question is, though, after all that talking, <laughs> my question is, will social media start to, I asked this many times before, but now we have a new development because now money's on the line, will they start to crack down on hateful and violent rhetoric? 
Now, hateful is subjective, I suppose, but you can say the rhetoric that is that has the potential to radicalize a person. Me saying I hate Mitch McConnell is more than likely not going to, or more likely than not, not going to send a person into a craze to do something stupid. So, the Ace of Wands and the King of Wands. There is a new action by those in charge there. The King of Wands and the Ace of Wands. So someone is indeed going to do something, because I think they have to, in response. Four of Pentacles trying to save something, but trying to save money. Six of Pentacles. There's a payout and a fine or a fee or something like that. So they're trying to save money. The Two of Wands and the Two of Cups. Now here's why they would want to save money. Because this can snowball very fast. One person in one case saying, you know what, this person was radicalized by something they seen on Facebook. Okay, Sue. So, okay, that person was... And there's too many of these radicalized people. You can't blame everything on video games. I play violent video games. I don't go out and kill people. So you can't blame it all in one source, but if you go to this person's Facebook page and their YouTube channel and then their Twitter feed and then you see the same kind of thing, this person is then being inundated with violent images. And that's all they see and that's all they consume and then next thing you know they are radicalized and then they Kyle Rittenhouse and then carry some of this crap out type of thing. And so... They're trying to save some money because, again, yeah, image, that's what I thought I would see there, but there's the image. They're trying to save money, and the image is the problem. Because these, these platforms, not that they promote violent videos or anti-Semitic or racist videos, but if you watch one, they'll recommend three more because it's run by computers, and so this is why you are trying to save money because this is going to snowball because how many of these type of people are there? A bunch. The Chariot, the Queen of Cups, and the Temperance. Will they start to calm down some of this? Yes, they will. Well, there will be an attempt, I'll say it that way. Because um, this is a new action carried out by some leader here, like I said. Um, they are working with like community outreaches and things of that nature, um, trying to get more parents involved. DeSantis just signed a bill, I'll have to read on that, where they he said that children under the age of 16 cannot have a social media platform So in Florida. So there's that, uh, without their parents' consent or something like that. Um, but this, the Two of Cups... Is a deal that's being made, and then the temperance is literally something being calmed or calmed down. Moderation, if you will. So, there will be a team effort on this. So, this is, like I said, community. This is more of a community outreach type of thing. So, we'll see what they attempt next. More guidelines, more things to box people in, that type of thing. So, we shall see.